For the second time this month, we're reviewing a phone that's the third in its family line. Will it live up to its good name, or will it fall flat on its face, or somewhere in between? I'm Michael Fisher, this is PocketNow.com, and this is the full review of the HTC Droid Incredible 4G LTE for Verizon Wireless. Let's get to it. The Droid Incredible 4G LTE packs a lot of hardware into its body, and that's a pretty small body. The device is much smaller, and more importantly, it feels much smaller than some of the super phones that flank it on store shelves, like the Galaxy Nexus here, or the Samsung Galaxy S3. Like its predecessors, the new Incredible isn't trying to be the biggest on the block, but don't let the small size fool you. There's some very capable hardware here. Taking a little tour around the device, We've got a four inch super LCD panel at 540 by 960 resolution up front at 275 pixels per inch. Down below it here, HTC's three capacitive Android buttons and up above, below the red painted earpiece, a VGA resolution front facing camera and there's also a notification LED hiding behind the glass there. On the right side here is the volume rocker, and we can see that the phone is not going for the thinnest award either. It's pretty hardy at 11.7 millimeters. But because it's got such a small footprint, that thickness actually makes it feel great in the hand. Flipping it around to the back, we have this wonderful asymmetric styling reminiscent of the first generation Incredible. We lost some of that uniqueness in the Incredible 2, so it's really nice to see the boldness come back. There's the 8 megapixel camera lens there with its flash alongside, and the 4G LTE and Beats branding there, as well as the speakerphone grille, very much like the same component on the Resound. Over on the left side here, there's just the micro USB port, and up top, the power button and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We wish the lock button here was on the side, as it would make a lot more sense with a device of this size, but obviously that preference is subjective. In all, the phone feels really, really great in the hand, and it's nice to carry a phone that doesn't have to take up your entire pocket when you're carrying it around on the town. And like we said about the Huawei Ascend P1, it almost feels technologically more advanced because it doesn't need all that space in the casing to deliver almost the same user experience. The new Incredible isn't gonna blow you away with its specs, but it's no slouch either. This phone is powered by a dual-core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 CPU running at 1.2 GHz. That's a little on the slow side compared to its contemporaries, but still nothing to sneeze at. That's backed up by 1 gig of RAM and 8 gigs of onboard storage, of which 4, a little over 4, is user accessible. There is microSD expansion up to 32 gigs, and powering all that, a battery rated at 1700 mAh. Now, this is an HTC phone, so it's running a skin on top of Android. How does it feel to revisit Sense 4 on Android Ice Cream Sandwich? In all, pretty good. We felt pretty good about Sense 4 on the HTC One X, which we reviewed several months ago. In fact, we called it the best version of the skin yet. And that still holds true here, though on this smaller screen, you're going to be dealing with smaller touch targets, which takes some getting used to if you're coming from a larger phone. Still, HTC does everything it can to make the experience smooth, providing convenient features like home screen widgets and their custom card-based multitasking view and a pretty convenient lock screen. And all of it runs fairly smoothly. We've made our feelings pretty plain about OEMs slapping on custom keyboards. The stock ICS keyboard is preferable to most manufacturer substitutes, and that holds true here. But we don't like HTC's attempt as much as we do some others. The haptic feedback is inconsistent, and it will drop feedback inputs at some points. The keys are a little crowded in uh, portrait view here as well, but it's the first time in a while we haven't wanted to immediately replace the keyboard with uh, a stock ICS build. Now, it won't work for everyone, and if you're a super fast typer, you won't like it at all, but it should serve the average user just fine. Overall, Sense's impact on Android is noticeable. Even though this is the lightest version of the Sense skin, it's still plenty heavy, and it does slow the experience down slightly. But the lag it introduces is at least consistent, and it's predictable, and it's very minor, and the conveniences Sense brings with it are worth the trade-off. 
Testing the incredible 4G LTE in the real world was a distinct pleasure. It's really nice when a phone strikes the right balance between power and pocketability. The new Incredible did that very well. We tested it in and around the greater Boston area from the city to the seashore. Reception was above average, beating out our Galaxy Nexus for connectivity in some remote areas, like a far off beach. We were able to average consistently good data speeds over Verizon's LTE network, averaging about 20 megabits down and about 10 up. Callers said I sounded loud and clear, even over speakerphone. On my end, people I spoke to sounded just fine through the earpiece. The speakerphone was tinny, like they all are, but it was loud. The new Incredible might lack the same hardware as the One X, but HTC has brought its full set of software camera improvements to this device. The unified viewfinder, multi-shot, HDR, panorama, and fun filters, they're all here, and they all work pretty well. HDR tends to deliver cartoony results that are too bright, but it's handy to have around when you have a backlit subject or a shot with a wide variation in light and dark. But all that aside, if you're just taking regular old still shots, the new Incredibles 8 megapixel camera really does quite a nice job. 1080p video is sharp with quick white balance and exposure correction, and the sound it captures is great. It's nice to have the option of shooting slow-mo as well. Using all these features will cost you quite a bit of power, but we're happy to report that the Incredible did pretty well in this regard. Not exemplary, mind you. It took us only about seven hours of heavy usage to go from 100% to shutdown, but that's heavy use. Average users should be able to go a full day. If you can't make it that long, you can always grab a spare battery. Remember, it's removable. So should you get it? Well, if you're looking for a feature-packed, top-of-the-line jumbo phone, then no, that's not what this phone is. But if you're looking for a mid-sized, attractive, boldly designed smartphone that doesn't sacrifice too much performance for pocketability, the incredible 4G LTE is definitely worth a look. Personally, I still have two friends carrying the original Droid Incredible more than two years after its release, and they both still love it. That's a great legacy, and it looks like this newest Incredible is living up to it. So even at $149.99 on contract after all discounts, which is a little pricey, if you're shopping Verizon Wireless for an LTE Android smartphone, I would definitely rate this one a strong buy. This has been Michael with PocketNow.com. Thanks for watching our full review. If you want to check out the written review, it's over at PocketNow.com. Throw us a like here on the video if you like what you saw. Leave a comment on the post at PocketNow.com if you'd like to contribute, if you'd li like us to respond to you there. You can also follow us on Twitter at PocketNowTweets. That's the official account. You can follow me on Twitter at, at CaptainTwoPhones. That's Captain, the number two, phones. And uh, stay tuned to PocketNow. We've got a lot more content as usual coming down the pipe sooner rather than later. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.